The Minister of Defense has called on newly promoted senior officers to be steadfast and remain loyal to constituted authorities in the face of daunting security challenges. Represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Ibrahim Khanna, at the investiture of the newly promoted officers, the minister charged them to put in more in the service of the country. Sifon Isian reports. It's the D-Day for the newly promoted senior officers in the Army and Air Force. 51 officers elevated to the rank of Major General in the Army file out to be decorated with the badge of their new rank at the Command Officers Mess. <laughs> it's a similar ceremony at the Department of Civil Military Affairs. For the Air Force, 26 newly promoted Air Vice Marshals and 25 Group Captains elevated to the rank of Air Commodore file out to be decorated at another ceremony at the NAF Conference Center. The message to the newly promoted officers is the same. Be dedicated to duty and loyal to the authorities. Don't relent and a lot more effective of you. I have no doubt that you can deliver and I stand here to say it, so indeed you must deliver. In the coming days, and I believe perhaps shortly after we leave here, you will be getting to know what your new responsibilities are there. I can bet you there will be more demanding than you have ever had throughout your service years. We must all come together to provide watchable solutions, which you've always done, to the prevailing security threats, particularly at the forthcoming general elections that is approaching. I, therefore, enjoin you all to remain apolitical towards ensuring peaceful, free, and fair general elections come 2023. The stakes are high for the newly promoted senior officers who now await deployment to their new assignments. C. Fon ACN, TVC News, Abuja.